deep down somewhere we all wish to be proficient in english and just because of this we all have clicked at least once in our lives on videos saying master english in 15 days or 10 days or 20 days just to listen this one line that practice is the key i mean they will say a lot of other things but it all boils down to this one thing ki aapko you have to practice it every day do it with your family do it with your friends do it in front of mirror etc etc and that will help you improve your language but one thing that i did not realize is that how awkward it would be for us to go and speak english with our family or try talking in english with your friends like they will literally make fun out of it and you cannot even do it in front of mirror that would be of no benefit since there is nobody to rectify your mistake and that is exactly what we want so for all those curtailments and hindrances that come your way and you're like in cheezon ki wajah se main apni english ko behtar nahi kar sakta ya kar sakti i am going to give you solution and three solutions that will help you assess your english exactly where do you stand it will help you improve your vocabulary your confidence and you will have that one partner who without judging you can rectify your mistake and converse with you in english and you will not even be awkward talking to that one person in particular because that's not even a human that's a robot so without any further ado let's kick off this video and let me explain you all those three methods so the very first solution right here what we have is start learning it through chat gpt now you must be thinking exactly chat gpt ke through how can we learn it then let me explain you and let me do it practically for you people Okay, so the very first step is go and install the app ChatGPT. Then make an ID on it, and thirdly, you have to locate the small audio icon, which probably is placed in one corner of this interface. So activate it, and once you're done, we are all set for a very seamless communication. So let's begin. Okay, hi ChatGPT. My name is Mukata Sawan, and today I'm specifically here for learning English. Because I'm extremely fond of this language, and also this is an official language in my country, so being fluent is like extremely, extremely important. But um, to my bad luck, I lack people around me who I could converse with in English, which is why I've come to you and turned to you. All I expect from you right now is uh, create a scenario for me, like ask me any question, and then I respond to it, and then you're supposed to ask me another question. And the one thing that should be uh, permanent all this time is. keep highlighting the grammatical mistakes that i make because that is exactly why i am here so i hope you understood the assignments should we begin absolutely mukata of course mukata so i'd love to help you improve your english let's dive in how about we discuss your favorite hobbies or something you enjoy doing in your free time well honestly i feel a little distraught telling you this but i really have time to spend on my hobbies cuz I have a nine to five job, and also the commutation takes, uh, at least two to three hours. So I'm not left with a lot of time that I can, uh, invest in my hobbies. But yeah, three to four months back when life was seven to eight months back when life was completely different. I had tons of things on my plate all the time. Like I used to relish watching cricket matches. I was into PSL and all the international matches, and that was like I was an avid, avid fan. but i have been realizing this lately that that fullness has subdued a bit now but not completely gone obviously i'm still a very big fan of it second thing that i used to do was i would read some nice book in fact these days i'm reading one book called as thousand simple red sons i have only uh, read the few pages of it but one thing that i've been observing is that it's very tragic and that is very close to reality which depresses me so i have taken a little break i'll start it again obviously i have to finish it The third hobby was cooking. I used to love cooking. I love it till to date, and uh, that's something that helped me unwind. I can also love cuddling with my cats because that's very anti depressing. So that's also one of my hobbies that I love doing. So you've seen I have a lot of interests. When you ask me hobbies, I I can speak for hours and hours on it. Just so, yeah, that's like that's what it is like. So you see, that was just one way. You actually have plenty of other ways how you can learn it through ChatGPT. uh i just randomly made a conversation uh you can create some other kind of scenarios some specific scenarios for example you are um in a new classroom meeting new people or you are in your office and you have 
to talk about some certain topic or you can start even you can even tell a story to chat gpt let me tell you how you can do it okay chat gpt so i have another very nice plan for us and that is that i'm gonna tell you a story a few lines of it and then i want you to add more lines to it and then like i want both of us together to write a script it's more like collaboration so can we do it okay i want um I want you to give me a complete scenario, like a background and some dialogues, and then I'll add to it. Absolutely, Mukana. Let's create a collaborative story. Set the scene with a few lines, and I'll build on it with background, dialogues, and more. Go ahead and start the story. Okay, so let's pause. It is a story of a girl who is, um, who is under some kind of spell spell probably black magic and due to this she has been suffering from a lot of health issues her family has been going through a lot she has gone to a lot of priests and some other religious people and she has had some exorcism as well but unfortunately none of it could break the curse of this magic and she's not even aware of why exactly did it happen with her because she has been a very nice to people, she's a very innocent soul. But perhaps it is because of some sins of her grandparents that they committed and now she has to bear the brunt for it. So she is just so confused and she doesn't know what to do. And right now she is sitting in a forest uh, on one certain stone where she used to come in her childhood and had a lot of fun there with her family. But now she's all alone there, just sitting and introspecting at her life and trying to uh think of at least one such moment where she screwed and probably made such mistake which could cost her all this suffering as she sits on the familiar stone in quiet forest memories of laughter and joy with her family echo through the trees the moonlight casts an eerie glow emphasizing the solitude she so you see how Chad Jupiter is literally extremely very very intelligent. It can actually help you learn English in so many different ways and so many fun ways. You can make a lot of stories and write a complete script with that. And that's like learning and having fun at the same time. So what can be better than this? So since I have told you people that I'm going to tell you about three different methods. So this was just one. What's exactly the second one? Let's know about it. So welcome to the second part of the video in which I'm going to tell you about one certain website that helps you assess your English. That exactly at the English level kya hai. And then it can also ask you some questions and then it will give you some certain timestamp. Ki itne time mein you have to answer it. And eventually it will give you some feedback ki aapki kaisi practice rahi, kitni aapki vocabulary kaisi hai, vagaira, vagaira. So the name of this website is Speak and Improve. So here is the website. People can probably see it. So once you click in that link of Speak and Improve well website, I will even give the link in the description below. Uh, you'll get to see this page. Here you have to go to start speaking. And the great thing about this website is that you do not even have to make any account on it. There is this one robot and there are two options, check microphone and answer question. I have checked my microphone already, so I'm just going to click on answer the question. Wala. And they give you eight questions, you can answer them. For example, Well, I'm from the heart of Pakistan, a city which is very famous for its rich culture and its very delicious foods. I'm basically talking about Lahore. So you see this way, there are actually eight questions that you can answer. And then this app will tell you that exactly what your English level is. So video will be very long, otherwise I could answer the all eight questions and could show you actually how it worked and what it told me. <laughs> 
we can let's leave it for now so this was basically the second method you can do it through speak and improve while your website the last way to improve your english is actually something that insanely helps you and that is through reading or listening now you can listen to ted talks you can listen to some um interviews or you can watch some nice english movies with subtitles or you can read some nice books for example i have a huge collection of english books that i read and i make sure that i'm not reading some literature wagaira wali books just because i have to learn english so some heavy words are written there so i would read them i would force myself ke nahi padhna hai kyunki seekhna hai no go for such books that are light and have some nice stories as well that can keep you hooked यू नो तो आपको ये नहीं हुआ कि मुझे सिर्फ इंग्लिश सीखने के लिए पढ़ना है आपका अदरवाइज दिल चाहेगा और फिर आप हाईलाइट करते जाए दर्ड्स दैट यू आर लाइकिंग एंड देन यू कैन टेक दम डाउन ऑन अ पेपर एंड देन यू कैन रिपीट दैम एंड प्रैक्टिस दैम इन योर डेली लाइफ द सेकेंड डे इज वॉचिंग मूवीज हैव टोल्ड यू वॉच इट विद सब टाइटल्स ताकि आपको अच्छे से समझ आए एंड देर ऑल्सो यू हैव सर्टन डायलॉग्स जो कि आपको अच्छे लगेंगे just keep them in your mind and you can even jot them down on the same paper yani apne paas ek excel file bana le ya fir apne paas ek paper rakh le uh, do whatever you feel is easy for you and thirdly you can watch ted talks wagaira cuz i feel those are very inspirational and can actually help you add a lot more to your vocabulary and that has helped me a lot so which is why i'm suggesting you these things so yeah this was the third method i'm sure you these all have heard before so i do not even have to go into to going to lot more detail so these are those three effective methods that have helped me immensely in improving my vocabulary my sentence structure my tenses my grammar etc etc so i'm really hoping that these will help you people trust me agar aap kisi ek pe bhi you start working you will see a lot of improvement in your communication skills in your english fluency i'm not saying ki aap usme bahut zyada master ho jayenge par all i claim is agar aap isko ek mahina bhi is cheez pe kaam karte hain to at least you will have enough confidence ki aap kisi ke sath bhi can talk in english and without feeling hesitation or without this fear inside ki kahi main kuch galat na keh dun kahi meri koi sentence bhi galat na ho jaye wagaira wagaira So that was it about this video. I hope you people loved and enjoyed it. If you did, you know what you were supposed to do. I'll meet you people soon in another video. Till then, bye bye.